Kia ora. These little things have changed the world. They let me talk to my family when I'm on the road and find out almost anything with just a tap. But all of this technology and access to information isn't without its sacrifices. The globalization of communication plays a big role in shrinking our native languages. Did you know that a language dies on average every 14 days? Our native language, Te Reo Māori, is under pressure and the more help we can give it, the better. What if we could use the same smartphones that are hurting indigenous languages to help make them stronger? Kupu is an app that translates the world around you into Te Reo Māori. Kita, that's the Māori translation for Gita. The app combines Google's cloud vision and translate APIs along with Te Aka Māori dictionary data to give the Māori language translation for photos you take on your phone. It serves up the most likely translation, then more options to explore. And Kupu can play audio examples to help with pronunciation. You can even input corrections, so it's an app that both teaches and learns. Kupu was launched in New Zealand for Māori Language Week by taking its simple visual translations across the country. Take a photo of an object, and it will tell you the Māori name. And then you can click on a little sound button next to it and it will do the pronunciation. So glass is... Karaihe. Karaihe. New Zealand has fallen in love with kupu. In just the first few weeks, we sent it straight to the top of the app charts, used it to teach our children in schools... Rapiti. ..and were translated and shared millions of photos. And the best part, kupu is to be made available free to use with any indigenous language anywhere in the world. Kupu. Take a photo, learn a language.